Welcome to the John and Heidi Show podcast. John and Heidi. Here's John and Heidi. Today is a special day, Heidi. Do you know what today is? What is today, John? I thought you'd never ask, Heidi. It's a movie star Monday. We're going to chat about who my guest is in a minute, but Heidi's super excited. It's National Homefront Heroes Day today, National Alphabet Magnet Day today, National Butterscotch Brownie Alphabet Day. Alphabet Magnet Day. Mm hmm. Why? What's funny about that? Was just oh, funny. Those, remember those yeah, on the refrigerator? Fridge magnets. Yeah. yeah. National Lost Sock Memorial Day, National Moscato Day, National Sleepover Day, and National Women's Checkup Day. It's important. Go and do that. That's a very important thing. And it's also a movie, Star Monday, with John I'm Michael Higgins. So excited about he's this. He's got a really fun game show that he's doing. It's called America Says. But Heidi loves him from all of his from movies. From everything. I love him. And I just realized he's in like three or four movies with Vince Vaughn. Fred Claus. And I love Vince Vaughn. Um, he was in... Couples uh, Retreat. Couples Retreat. The Breakup. Yeah, he's in several movies. But he's always Heidi's favorite character in every one in of these movies. In everything he's ever been in, he is my yeah. favorite character. And if character. you don't know who I'm talking about, I've got a photo of him uh, in the show notes at johnandheidyshow.com. When You'll you see, see his him. picture, Pitch you perfect. will say... I mean, the list goes oh, on. Oh, I love this guy. The list is longer than both of my arms together. He's yeah. in everything, and he's hilarious, and I'm excited to chat with John Michael Higgins coming up. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Now, surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Did we all technically come from space? Apparently so, according to these people. NASA scientists uh, say that they discovered the final building block of life inside of asteroids, adding to the theory that meteorites may have long ago seeded our planet with the necessary materials to create life. These scientists previously had detected on meteorites that landed in the U.S., Canada, and Australia three of the five chemical components needed to form DNA, the molecules that carry genetic instructions in living organisms, the RNA molecule crucial for controlling the action of genes. Researchers say they now have identified the final two. They're fine-tuning the way they analyze the meteorites. Earth formed 4.5 billion years ago, according to them, and uh, was pelted by meteorites, according to them. And uh, they're saying that that's where we came from, is from all of that, from 3.5 billion years ago. Okay. So that's according to their study. My calculations are a little different, but, uh, you know, we're not going to agree. Yeah, my beliefs are somewhat different. Yeah. Surveys <laughs> and studies. Well, I'm not saying they're wrong, but I'm saying don't tell me I'm wrong either. Surveys and studies and such brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Did you know? Brought to you by RadioTravelGroup.com. Heidi, did you know? Thanks to melting ice, archaeologists have discovered a 1,700-year-old leather sandal left behind by a traveler passing through Horse Ice Path in what is today Opland, Norway. Okay. Experts believe it was discarded by its owner after being worn out. To combat the cold, the sandal's owner likely wore it with wool wrappings or socks made out of fabric from animal skins. But uh, they're saying this thing is like 1,700 years old. So you know how they know that? It said on the bottom, uh, made in pre-China. <laughs> Just kidding. It didn't, it didn't say any of that. I have no idea how they would know that. But uh, that's what they discovered. One of my favorite bits from uh, Brian it was a What really happened is it, it was a croc and his wife made him <laughs> throw them away. No, uh, Brian Regan, one of our favorite comedians, there's a, a thing where he says, I think it's from Babylon. And they're like, you see here where it says Kmart? <laughs> <laughs> All right. We don't know everything, but now we know this. Thanks for listening to the John and Heidi Show. John and Heidi. Now, big screen, little screen, brought to you by ChannelSurferTV.com. Blake Lively is entering uh, her new era. The Gossip Girl alum will make her feature directorial debut with a thing called Seconds, and it's adaptation of a graphic novel 
by uh, Brian Lee O'Malley, creator behind Scott Pilgrim. Uh, Edgar Wright, who is also helping with this, uh, is attached to the project. Uh, this thing was published in 2014. So, And then uh, it says, just call her Kim Carbdashian. She's headed straight for the buffet of pizza and donuts after losing 16 pounds in three weeks to prepare for the 2022 Met Gala. She took to Instagram to talk about how she worked her tail off. And then as soon as she's done, she's like, I'm getting some pizza and I'm getting some donuts and I'm getting all this stuff. Okay. So um, I feel the same way. I remember one time I had to lose 16 pounds to fit into a dress. <laughs> Wait, no, I've never had to do anything like that. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I'd rather not hear about it if you did. No, I've never had to do anything like that. Uh, and I'm glad that you can only hear me and you can't see me because right now you'd all be feeling really bad. All right. Thanks for listening to The John and Heidi Show. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Play Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at radiotravelgroup.com. Now your scoop of the day comes your way, courtesy of bettercreditcards.com. This is really kind of fun. It says, worst de- decisions ever made. This I've got several cool things sent to me. I don't know where else to put them, so I'm putting them here. Uh, gives me a couple minutes to talk about. Like this, DECA decided not to sign this little group called the Beatles. <laughs> oh, wow. The reason was... They said uh, the guitar groups are on the way out. They, they said no in 1962, and then they went on to be one of the most... That's painful, I bet. Yeah, best-selling recording group of all time. Microsoft for sale. 1979, CEO of Electronic Data System, Ross Perot, was tempted with an offer to buy this little company for $60 million. He declined, saying, I don't know about this 23-year-old kid, this Bill Gates... <laughs> now it's worth two trillion dollars wow. star wars merch 1973 20th century fox allowed george lucas to lower his fee for directing star wars as he said I'll, I'll lower my fee but i get all the merchandising rights that turned into a five billion dollar decision yeah. for him by the way so big deal big big deal rejecting harry potter 12 publishing houses said no to jk rowling before somebody Yikes. finally said huh maybe we should maybe we should try this thing out and see what happens uh, missing the Kodak moment. Digital photography was originally a Kodak in- innovation. They refused to invest in the research because they thought, no, we don't want to, you know, what happens if we do that? Film's going to go away. Well, then somebody right. else did it. And then they got nothing. And they filed for bankruptcy in 2012. And they Yikes. didn't even have, the, the, originally they would have been the front runners. Right. E.T., when they very first put this thing together, they approached the makers of Mars to use M&Ms. And they said, no, we don't want this weird little creature eating M&Ms. So they put right. Reese's Pieces instead, and they had an increase of 65% increase in sales. And then kicking Monday Night Football. In the 1960s, NBC and CBS both passed on the chance to have Monday Night Football. ABC got it instead, and then it was one of the best viewed programs in TV shows of all time. So they, they both had a chance, and they said, nah, I don't think so. There you go. Several of the worst decisions ever made. It's your scoop of the day. Ouch. Brought to you by BetterCreditCards.com. Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at RadioTravelGroup.com. That's RadioTravelGroup.com. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Movie Star Monday. Our guest today, John Michael Higgins. He's been in a ton of movies and TV shows, and he is just an all-around talented dude. He's got a game show as well on the Game Show Network. we got him on the line right now. Mr. Higgins, how are you? I'm very well. How are you, guys? I am fantastic, and I'm excited to chat with you about America Says on the Game Show Network, another season out right now. Let's talk about America Says. It is, yeah. It's, um, and it uh, seems to work. I've got uh, this is now the fifth season that we're uh, broadcasting currently, and um, it's a bit of a shock. I I was never a game show host in my career. My I had a long career, never involved game shows, and um, uh, somehow late in the in the in the career, I uh, I'm become a game show host. I, 
I'm as uh, surprised as you are. So you've got a bunch of great movies and a bunch of great TV programs, and now you've got this game show that you're hosting. So how does that compare compared to being like an actor in a TV show or a movie? You know, I couldn't help but just bring whatever whatever I had to the game show, um, and and mostly those are sort of acting skills or improvisational skills, which is stuff that I have been doing my whole career. Um, I was not convinced <clears throat> in the early days that those skills would be particularly useful, uh, but it turns out they are, and I think that um, GSN Game Show Network has allowed me to fashion the show somewhat uh, around those skills so that I can improvise quite a lot during the show with the contestants or based on what they say and also uh, use my acting skills to sort of keep the drama alive uh, over a 30-minute 30, 30 show. Now, we were big fans of a TV program, Monk, and you were on an episode of that, and if I remember correctly, I think you were a game show host. Yeah. That's kind of funny you mentioned that. Um Yes, I did. I was a game show host. I'm trying to remember. I think I was the murderer. I think I killed someone. <laughs> or, or did I cover up? You know, I think you did, actually. I clipped. Yeah, no, I remember. I remember shooting it. I, w I had to lie down under a car and, with a pair of pliers and pretend to clip her brakes. So I think that's, <laughs> I think that was Monk. Yeah, that yeah, was. I, well, I think I killed her. Well, we were big fans of the TV show Monk, and also there's another show, Psych, and you were on an episode of that, and your character on there was quite the gentleman, but he made us laugh quite a bit. Oh, yeah, the Psych was, that was funny. Uh, yeah, that, that was uh, fun to shoot. Those guys are, um, James Rode and uh, uh, Dulé, you know, they improvise a lot, too, so it was a lot of fun. We had a, we had a really good time. Jean Smart was on that episode. I really enjoyed working there. She's one, obviously. We love several of the movies that you're in, and a lot of the lines, you get to improvise those, don't you? Most of them, yeah. Uh, the, the ones I'm known for uh, were largely improvised, yeah. Well, one of my wife's favorite movies of all time is a little movie called Couples Retreat with Vince Vaughn and a, an amazing cast, but you're in that movie with him. And again, your character is so funny. You always pick good characters. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yes, also improvised. Um it was funny, you know, they, they shot couples retreat uh, in Bora Bora, I believe. And uh, so they called me up. They say, oh, you know, we wanted to do this uh, thing. And they were shooting in Bora Bora. I was like, oh, I'll go. Yeah, I go to my wife. Yeah, I'm going to Bora Bora. It's so exciting. It's wonderful. He said, oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to Bora Bora. <laughs> You're going to shoot your scene uh, on a stage in Universal, which is like seven minutes from my house. <laughs> like, Never mind. Not going to Bora Bora. I actually can walk to where I have to go. <laughs> so you got to pretend to be in Bora Bora, but you had me fooled. I thought you were there. Uh, no, see, I, mean, I told you I was a brilliant actor. <laughs> <laughs> well, and you're also a brilliant game show host. If folks would like to find America Says, can they watch past episodes somewhere as well? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, GSN actually broadcasts uh, all, uh, shows from every season. So all across their, their schedule on a daily basis, uh, you know, I don't know, my show shows up many times on schedule uh, in a day. So some of those will be from season one, season two, season, and you can also go to the website, uh, the GSM website, and watch the past season. And holy cow, season five just started the tail end of last month. It's called America Says on the Game Show Network. Our guest, John Michael Higgins. John, thank you so much for taking the time to chat today. Uh, it is my pleasure, and thank you for having me on your show. I appreciate it. Again, John Michael Higgins, actor extraordinaire, game show host extraordinaire. America Says on the Game Show Network. I'll put a link to all of the information in the show notes for today at johnandheidyshow.com. Thanks for listening on a Movie Star Monday. What can I say that I haven't already said about BetterCreditCards.com? It's a website. You go there to get a better credit card. Okay, that's really probably all I need to say for most of you, but I still have time left, so how about this? At BetterCreditCards.com, we have different kinds of credit cards, some with better points and perks, some designed to help you build your credit. Whatever stage of life you happen to be in, we want to help. Give yourself a little credit. BetterCreditCards.com. That's BetterCreditCards.com. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Men tend to overestimate women's interest in them, while women tend to underestimate men's interest in them. I'm very interested in you, Heidi. Oh. Are you interested in me? Mm. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> hey, fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Men who grow beards easily and earlier in life are more likely to go bald.
Okay. It's good to know. Fun fact for you, Heidi. Was that Ravens in capa- um, captivity <laughs> can learn to talk better than a parrot. Ravens can. Really? That's pretty cool. I didn't know ravens could talk. Yeah, of course they can. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Brass objects, including doorknobs, sterilize themselves after about eight hours because bacteria cannot really survive on brass. Oh, interesting. That's very cool. Fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Japan made all of the medals for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics out of discarded electronics. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, that's kind of a cool thing. And fun fact for you, Heidi. What's that, John? Desert stomach is a real thing. Your gut expands upon contact with sugar, making room for dessert. Oh, dessert oh, stomach. Oh, dessert <laughs> 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 Even after having <laughs> the feeling of being full, you know, and all that desert. <laughs> oh, gosh. I think we're done. There's several fun facts. Now you know. Thanks for listening <laughs> to the John and Heidi Show. Are you looking for an energy drink that's natural, lasts longer, has no dyes, no artificial flavorings, and no sugar? Blitz Energy Drink is the answer. With only 10 calories per serving and 200 milligrams of caffeine, our formula will help increase your focus, endurance, mood, and energy levels. Order now at drinkblitzenergy.com. Use promo code RADIO20 to save 20% and get free shipping on any canister. Drinkblitzenergy.com. Promo code RADIO20. That's drinkblitzenergy.com. Time now for the Mint Mobile question of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of Mintervention.com. Here's your question, Heidi. When kids were asked what phrase they most hate to hear their parents say, this was number one. What do you think it is? A ho- is it, it's a phrase. A phrase, yeah. No dessert till you clean your plate. No, that's a good one, though. It's probably number two, because I think that was good, Heidi. But the question, <laughs> Thank you, John. the thing that kids don't like to hear, the number one answer was money doesn't grow on trees. Oh, that's true. Yeah, that's true. There you go. So your Mint Mobile question of the day comes your way courtesy of Mintervention.com. Join us in October for The Sands, a week of music and fun that's been described as the best week ever by many guests. This year, we have more icons and more fun. Loverboy, Belinda Carlisle, Lou Graham, Vanilla Ice, Samantha Fox, Firehouse, and many more already on the schedule. Plus, more announcements coming soon. Plan to join us October 25th through the 30th at Planet Hollywood Beach Resort Cancun. This all-inclusive event will be the time of your life. Learn more now at Radio Travel group.com now some weird news brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com the gothic ruins that inspired Bram Stoker's iconic horror movie Dracula will host the world's largest gathering of vampires or at least people who oh funny. dress as vampires they're gonna celebrate the 125th anniversary of the release of Dracula it's featured in the books uh what's left of the 7th century monastery will stand uh as the backdrop of quite the event it's going to be coming up in uh, May, later this well, month. Well, that's only right. I don't know where else they think they yeah, would I don't hold know. something like May that. May 26th, they're going to be doing this. It's a nonprofit that manages the ruins. They're going to attempt to break the world record of the largest gathering of people dressed like vampires. Huh. Attendees are asked to wear traditional vampire fancy dress for the event. Fancy it will also dress. feature live music, food and drink, a performance of excerpts from Dracula by a theater group. The current record, by the way, is 1,029. That was back in 2011, so... They need like 1,100 Dracula vampire people to be at this. (laughs) Okay. I don't know. Uh, Maybe we'll get an update. Weird news. Yeah, it's weird. Brought to you by weirdgiftoftheday.com. John and Heidi. Time now for the list. Brought to you by bettercreditcards.com. The list is questions plaguing humanity. Like, where the heck does the O come from when we abbreviate the word number to no, N-O period? There's no O in number. That's true. Huh. Shouldn't it be new or new? Right. How about this? Did Noah keep his bees in ark hives? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> uh, what is the opposite of medium? I don't know. Nobody knows. Another question plaguing humanity. Is crummy bread good bread or bad bread? <laughs> if it's crummy. If it's crummy, yeah, yeah. Maybe it is for bread. Uh, another question plaguing humanity. Do pigs have pen pals? Oh, oh boy. cute. How many people thought of Post-it notes before it was invented but didn't have anything to jot it down on? <laughs> <laughs> another question. Isn't saying something is indescribable hard to do because you're describing it? Sure. <laughs> and how does a shelf retailer keep their store from looking empty? <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in here. All you guys are selling <laughs> is empty sell shelves. shelves. There's more questions plaguing humanity. Oops. It's in the show notes. If you want to read the entire silly thing, you can see that at johnandheidyshow.com. 
Are you ready to enjoy a little slice of paradise? Check out this beautiful family-owned, professionally managed vacation rental in sunny Poipu, Kauai, Hawaii. Our family stayed recently and we absolutely loved it. The area is so beautiful and the vacation rental has room for up to six guests. Why stay in hotel rooms when you can all enjoy your own area in a vacation rental? Visit Hawaii and make your trip to this tropical paradise one to remember. Learn more at radiotravelgroup.com. That's radiotravelgroup.com. Time now for the quote of the day. It comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. James Branch Cabell says, The optimist proclaims that we live in the best of all possible worlds, and the pessimist fears that it's true. Oh, yeah. I like that one. That's deep. Heidi wants to put that on a shirt, too. I like that. Yeah. So the optimist says, the best of all possible worlds. The pessimist fears that it is true. And the realist says, it is what it is. Deal with it. That's where Heidi lives, right That's there. That's where I live. Quote of the day comes your way, courtesy of insurancechicken.com. John and Heidi. This portion of the John and Heidi Show is brought to you by the John and Heidi Show. That sounds kind of funny, but it's true. Go to your local radio station and ask them to start carrying the John and Heidi Show. Here's the best part. They can carry the show for free. They play a couple commercials, but it doesn't cost them anything every month. So if you know a radio station that could use a little bit of help, send them our way. Send them to johnandheidyshow.com. Again, johnandheidyshow.com. We would love to do a radio program in your community. Then you could listen to the podcast and listen to us on the radio. John and Heidi. We always like to wrap things up around here with good news, and I think this is good news. It comes your way courtesy of radiotravelgroup.com. Here's a headline. U.S. soldier returns an Italian woman's birthday cake 77 years later. A cake? Yeah. An Italian woman had her birthday cake returned 77 years after American soldiers made off with it in a celebratory with a celebratory treat, which sounds weird. April 28th, the city of Vesniza, I probably said it wrong, um, Army Garrison in Italy took a moment to remember the day when Americans arrived in the city during World War II. The event, titled One Community Remembering April 28th, 1945, was held to remember the 77th anniversary of the U.S. Army's arrival there. Decades of friendship ever since, by the way. A special guest at the event was 89-year-old Mary Mion. She was 13 when Americans came to the village. She had been sheltering in the attic of her family's farm. And it says Germans fired shots near her house, memories that haunted her for many, many years. The battle concluded by the time she had her 13th birthday, which was April 29th, 1945. Her mother baked her a cake to celebrate and set it in the windowsill to cool it off. Unfortunately, she never got to taste it. There were some soldiers who helped themselves to it. (laughs) That is when they decided, you know what? It's time for her to get that cake back. So they baked her a brand new cake, which I think is really, really cool. That's very sweet. Um, The the cake was presented by U.S. Army Sergeant Peter Wallace, uh, who was recently uh, the winner of the Best Warrior Contest in Europe. Says tomorrow I will eat that dessert with all of my family, remembering this wonderful day that I will never forget. Aww. That's what the the lady said. I think that's really really neat. I do too. So I'm sad that she didn't get to eat her cake back when she was 13, but I'm glad that they said, you know what, time to renew or time to to go do what we should have done a long long time ago, and let's bring her a cake. That's adorable. You know what they should do every year now? They should bring her a cake. How cool would that be? Well, that's a bit much. <laughs> How many cakes does one person need? <laughs> I think it's really neat. Time to say goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, Heidi. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great day. Thank you for listening to the John and Heidi Show on a Monday.